What a difference a day makes. Yesterday, at, wow, when I got out here at 8 in the morning, it was pretty nice out, calm. You could feel it in the air that it was about to get squirrely. But then by noon, she was gusting pretty hard, like 70K. And then overnight, holy, it was blowing hard. And, you know, we got a skiff of snow. Not, not much that's going to accumulate for moisture-wise. Take a look around the vineyard. It was all dry here yesterday, but really it's not that bad. You know, overall it's probably less than half an inch. You can still see the grass everywhere out in the yard. Um, so we'll go pick up some peas and uh, we didn't get the new sprayer yet. Uh, it's not coming today. Possibly tomorrow. Hopefully by Thursday at the latest. We'll fire up the tractors here and back the big auger up so I can plug in the tractor. We'll maybe I'll fire that up. Oh, and I got the old Dodge back. So you can hear a rumble. Get my gun. Some pigeons. They always make a mess. Maybe they're going away. There, there was five of them. I only see three. Anyways, time to move an auger. So I put a camera on the auger. Well, probably can't see the camera on the auger. It's not in the world's best spot. It's, uh, it's about 10 feet back where the uh, Queens Bridging lands. Kind of there. But my cables just showed up. I got like five meter cables for this. So they're not plugged into anything, so I can't see. Not a. We'll see. I'm probably gonna put another camera on the end there, looking down or underneath it. But I think I'm gonna wait. I might kind of build my own bin full, never spill soap spout, and put. Uh... So I'd have two there, and you could always kind of undo them. Wherever. And then I think I'm going to put one on the front of this tractor. Just because it's really hard to see the forks when you're handling chem totes. Like, you can't see them at all. So, anyhow, let's get uh, let's get back and up here for setting up.
start. girl. Well, I'm in, but I'm at the back of the hole, so I'll pull ahead about a foot and we'll be good. Nice, because these bees are pretty heavy. That auger will sag. It'll end up going that way six inches. And the biggest thing is you don't want one of the spout sections to end up catching on the underside. End up tearing your, uh, your straps and dropping your spout. And then one of the first things you always gotta do, close your valve. Don't want it creeping down. And this, this is so much better. I, I can't wait to have a, a telescoping one, like a Redondo or a Green Max or a Telesling. But uh, beats the hell out of manual cranking. Beats the hell out of trying to push these out and swing them under a semi. Get that out of there. Oops, make my face. Every now and then we have this happen, but it doesn't really want to go all the way up. For some reason, but it still works. Actually, that kind of just reminds me. That uh, Volvo green truck there, uh, shuttle in the hydraulics, but I think it's got a bad O-ring. Going up, you let go of the remote, it keeps going up. You don't want that. So I think it's a pretty easy fix, but we'll take care of that. One, two, three, four, four. And three quarters for me. Roughly about there, we can always tweak it. Grab some lumber. For me, you put this block right there, 
pretty much in line with this this pin to here. That's usually close enough. There's another project I forgot about. Minor. Uh, the quick release valve on the brakes I think is plugged up, whether it needs a new vent or a whole new valve. Uh, should vent through the dash like that. So, oh, and one more thing. Normally we like to uh, put this thing on high idle because it's got a like a eco timer silly thing in the computer. And if somebody knows how to override that, oh, let me know because it's just not long enough. It, if, if it was five minutes longer, it'd be perfectly fine. We'd never bother with it. It's just that when you're trying to fill the cedar or you try and clean the corners out of this, the engine shuts off you don't have any hydraulics anymore and it's just that five minutes if I could make it five minutes longer I probably would or like I said normally we just put the cruise on but for some reason I think just the wire got loose on the back on the cruise on this little guy so I have to fix that that there it's almost perfect I'll probably just bump that guy that way about three or four inches not much I'll turn off the hydraulics. Because they drip otherwise. Oh, wrong way. Right about there. What a good noisy. Not the track. Very loud. She was windy. She was over a hundred at times. 